All right, Dana, thank you. This week marks the end of an era in Madison Morning Radio. For 35 years, Pat O'Neill has been behind the mic at Midwest Family Broadcasting's Magic 98. Tomorrow is his last day on the air. We met Pat at the studio yesterday as he's getting ready to leave Magic and Madison for a new opportunity. Does it feel emotional walking the halls? Are you trying to savor every last minute of this? Yeah. 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 So this is your studio. Here it is, the magic of Madison. We're staring at a screen that tells us all the songs we have, and then the phone rings constantly here with Ginger Martin fans. <laughs> and we're always looking at traffic and weather, and we're ready to record a phone call if a listener uh, checks in with us. So a lot more goes on behind the scenes than people realize. It's a, a lot more than just talking into a, a mic. A three-hour morning radio show feels like 20 minutes have gone by. It's so busy. So, Pat, say it isn't so. You're really It leaving. isn't so. There you go. <laughs> You're leaving Madison. Tell me a little bit about this decision that you've made. I didn't expect to. I got a phone call from a radio station owner a couple of months ago. At night, in my living room, I thought... I want to talk to this person. I'm going to look into this. My wife gave me a funny look. We've been here a long time. Uh, the more I looked at this, the more sense it made. So it came to you. It came to me. To seek it out. No. And it was just too, an offer that was too good to refuse? You, I, 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 I don't mean to be so mysterious about where it is, but secrecy is big in broadcasting, as you know. And once I can say where I'm going, I think it will make a lot of sense to people. But you're leaving Madison. Leaving Madison, leaving Wisconsin. And leaving Magic 98. How are you feeling about that after 35 years? I love the people I work with. I love the listeners in the morning. I've heard nothing but wonderful things from them in emails, phone calls, cards. That will be tough. I have something special planned for Friday morning at about 8 o'clock. I'm going to keep my Slim Whitman CD nearby in case we need uh, a little relief from the tension. I don't want it to be sad. How did this journey begin? What brought me to the station is being a Madison kid listening to Jonathan Little and Charlie Simon on Wisdom and thinking that's got to be a great way to make a living, being on the radio. To this day, those guys are pals of mine, heroes of mine. In fact, there's a picture of them. The WISM uh, staff of the 1970s were stars. That's in an era when people would show up at the mall, hundreds of people, you know, to go to the jewelers to watch Jonathan Little broadcast. Um, I just thought that was the coolest way to make a living. I got interested in radio as a teenager, started working as a teenager, and that's all I've ever done. I got a phone call in the summer of 83 from the people that decided that Madison needed a station like Magic 98, and that intrigued me then. They said, this is not going to be a typical radio station. We're going to have people on the air that connect with listeners. Uh, we want you to think of the listener as a friend. I think we did a lot of zany radio things in the early days. I've got the pictures to prove it, but over time that zaniness, I think, kind of faded away in a, in a deeper connection, I think, is what uh, developed with our listeners. Look at this pile of emails. The, the, this is the reaction from listeners since you made your announcement. What has it been like reading these? It's been unbelievable because um, people remember things that happened so many years ago that I couldn't possibly remember. Often they're recalling something I do remember. But you know, in the day-to-day, -day, you do the radio show, you answer the phone, you answer an email, nine o'clock arrives, you move on to the rest of the day. And what I had forgotten was that, that cumulative effect. And so these have, these have hit me big time. This has been an emotional time. I'm so grateful that um, people remember things that have happened. Well, some of these letters are deep and, and, and very impactful. Right on the top here, a woman wrote, two days before Christmas, my first husband left me and our two children. One night, I thought I would just find a radio station to keep me company. Magic 98 has been my station since, and you have been my companion, my true north. 
I'm going to cry. I can barely read this without crying. I can't even imagine how that, that must make you feel. It's, I, I don't know the word, gratifying comes to mind. Um, a woman called me a year ago, a year and a half ago on St. Patrick's Day. She said, my dad used to like this uh, old Irish song, Could You Play It? I said to her, my dad used to like an old Irish song. I happen to have a Bing Crosby Irish song CD here. Let's play a song for our dads. This woman wrote me back later that day to say thanks and how meaningful it was for her. She wrote me just a few days ago. She'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. What are you going to miss the most, do you think? It, it's hard to describe that after all these years, I get nervous before I'm going to go on the air. That special time of five in the morning, I'm thinking about how much day, I'm thinking about how much fun the day is going to be. Lynette Hansen's going to be fun. The phone will ring. Listeners will have a good time, hopefully. That I will miss, and that special connection with Madison. This is my town. Mm -hmm. I was born here, pretty much raised here. It's tough to leave. I think I have one great last radio adventure, and I'm going after it. This is a great opportunity for you to say anything you'd like to say to all of the people who have listened to you over the years. It's hard to imagine mornings without you, Pat. It really, I think it's personal for a lot of people. It's like losing a good friend. I've loved every minute of it. It's been an honor. There are no listeners like Magic 98 listeners. I'm going to miss them all. Pat mm. promises to let everyone know where he ends up as soon as he can, and names that you all know, Lynette Hansen mm -hmm. and Ginger Martin, and they're all going to be filling in and, and taking over. Pat, you will be missed. Yeah, boy, that's for sure. Thank you so much, Pat. We'll be right back.